We last tested the Maserati Coupe three years ago, and we didn't much care for it. We didn't like the psychotic handling, or the looks, or the interior. Most of all, we didn't like the flappy paddle gearbox. Red gearboxes, these. In fact, the only thing we did like was the engine. That's not exactly a long list of plus points. Still, if Maserati's given it another go, so should we. This is the new one. It's called the Grand Sport, and straight away you can tell that this is more hardcore. It's got a bigger, meaner grille that should stack up a spectacular fly kill. These side skirts are like surfboards. And then at each corner, huge 19-inch wheel. The volume really is nudging up towards 11. You get more power too, an extra 10 bhp from the 4.2-litre V8, which brings it up to a nice meaty 396. So 0 to 60, 4.8 seconds. Top speed, an enormous 180 miles an hour. All of which is, frankly, worrying, because from past experience, the last thing this car needed was more power. Quite frankly, it was already a bit of a wild and unruly beast with what it already had. But you know what? Here, today, now, in this grand sport, I think they've cracked it. The whole car has been lowered, the suspension's been stiffened, all the computer software that controls the chassis has been modified and improved, and I can tell you all of those facts. But what's hard to describe is just how different, just how much better this one-time mongrel now feels. It's grown up, it all comes together and works. It feels confident, planted, sure-footed. I know I can use all that power, even the extra power. I've got. There's a button down here marked Sport. Press it, which you will, and wonderful things happen. The suspension is stiffened up. And there's a little flap in the exhaust that opens. So the noise, well, that. <laughs> that is sporty. Maserati has also had a crack at improving the interior. The new seats are fantastic and there's carbon fibre on the centre console, the dash and this weird shaped steering wheel that gives you a clear view of the clocks. The only really odd thing is this material, it's a sort of space age tweed and I just don't see the point of it, not unless James May becomes an astronaut. This Maserati is starting to look like the car it should always have been. And there's something else. The badge is now cool. Bono has bought a Quattroporte. Jamie Oliver, saviour of school children, he's a Maserati man. This car costs £66,000, or the same price as a Porsche Carrera S. And in the past, I'd have said, no contest, buy the Porsche. Now, though, the Maserati is a real contender. But there is one issue still to settle. The flappy paddle gearbox. This was the Achilles heel of the old car. It was as sluggish and jerky as going to work on a camel. Thing is, though, it's all controlled by computer software, and blokes with lots of pens in their top pocket have been fiddling with it. So, have their changes worked? To find out, I've come to the Verano de Melagari circuit. They test Maseratis here, and it's somewhere that allows me free reign to really give the Grand Sport a spanking. 
This place is thick with second and third gear corners that'll show us whether you really can teach some old cogs new tricks. And just to spice things up, I'm going to see how close I can get my lap time to that of Maserati's chief test driver, Gabriella Tarquini. So, no pressure there, then. Tarquini laid down a time. Yeah, he's pretty quick. Flat on this chicken. A rather quick time. That wasn't bad. The yeah, car is warm, <laughs> now it's your turn. Thank you so much. <laughs> but now, let him watch and learn. <laughs> Breaking as hard as I possibly can up to the first corner. Turn in. This is not an automatic gearbox, remember. It is a manual gearbox. But you change gear using these flappy paddles. You have to accept that. There is an automatic mode, but it's still a manual gearbox. It's a bit too late on the throttle. You know what? I like it. Great car. Harder. I think it works. This is the first time, finally, I'm happy with a flappy paddle gearbox. Finishing line ahead. This is it. How close will my time be? And I'm done. How oh, well, yeah. Can I just ask? Yes. Can I just ask? Can you have this thing with a proper gearbox? No, it's flappy paddle only, I'm afraid. But. I, no, it works. I like it in this Don't car. Work. Fine. I mean, they work on a track, fine. But have you ever tried parking with a flappy paddle gearbox? Because you've got no clutch. You either roll into the car in front or drive at very high speed into the car behind. That's all you can do. No, with it them. can be tricky, but in this car, for Don't once. Argue. Well, it, no, I don't want you to argue. That's the fact. They're rubbish. But for once, I you're think arguing. If you carry on arguing, yes. I'm going to show everyone here the telemetry from your lap. No, but the... He's the, arguing. Who wants to see the telemetry from his... Yeah. Yes, fine. Here we go. Look, I've got it here. Explain, on, telemetry me, is a computer me. printout from the car about how fast you're going and what you were doing when you were steering. And it's far too complicated to work on the television and we won't understand it, so I don't think we should bother... Please. I think we will understand it, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is. OK, now, this blue line here, this was set by Tarquini, who basically is a middle-aged bald man who once uh, crashed a touring car. <laughs> OK, and that's his line. And then the red line is... That's my... Basically, if you look at the blue line, is right, and I am consistently at no point on it. <laughs> Although, really? in your defence, here, momentarily, you are faster because this is speed. This is you're faster. Yes, but than if you look what happened afterwards, I'm then in a complete mess for the next three corners you, as a result. That's oh, true. Yeah. My favourite, though, my favourite is the braking. What happened here? I don't, I don't, He's fully on the brakes. You're. What? Yeah, I think I might have left the track and gone shopping at that point. I think I was pulling up outside a shoe shop. It's the not fact is, good. though, the fact is, your time. Yes. You were, and this isn't bad, you were only, what was it, four? Four seconds. Four seconds a lap yes. slower. And I was quite pleased until I worked out on the way home. Four seconds on a one-minute lap, which means in a 70-lap race, he'd have lapped me five times. <laughs>